Welcome to the Impactors Podcast. I'm Corey Carter. And I'm Ron Cool. And we are the owners and founders of Hindsight Hacking Media Agency Podcasts, Funnels, Graphics, and more. Head on over to GetHHM.com to learn more. Guys, we created this podcast to help you go create an impact today. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, today. We're taking all the fluff, all the BS out, so you can go create an impact. And today's topic is all about masterminds. Corey, I know this is something you're super stoked about. So let's get into it. Yes, Ron. Okay, this is this is fun. You you and I have had a fun banter over the years yes. about, about masterminds. And, yeah. and it started with me trying to get you to a couple of things in person. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I remember you were going to, and then at like... I, was I, I think it was something our job happened right. that it was like, I barely was able to make it. Uh, I think you had to cover for me so I could go, but you couldn't right. go. I don't know. Uh, but, but masterminds, oh my gosh, it, if, if you're out there in the world and you are not involved in some kind of mastermind, you are missing out. And, and so a mastermind could be four people getting together and having a conversation on a consistent basis, Right. But some, some people, they call masterminds and it's more like group coaching where you never get to say a word and the person's mastermind just does all the talking for an hour. So there's all kinds of different masterminds. And, and Ron, I wanted to start it and open it up like that, right? Because the, there's two very big spectrums right. that, uh, we just, that I just mentioned. And then there's stuff in between. And I, I kind of wanted us to start with our, our mastermind that we started last year but your take on to it as we started uh, before we get into it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't get it. Let's just be honest. Like I didn't understand why people would be involved. I didn't, I didn't get why you would want to do it. Right. And let alone, I didn't understand why, why people paid to be a part of it. Right. So I didn't, I didn't understand any of that stuff. So I didn't understand. I mean, long and short, I didn't understand the value of the mastermind. Right. And if you didn't start the one that we did as a beta, which was wildly successful, and, and I say it was wildly successful, not because of the how many people were in it. It was wildly successful to watch two things happen from it. Three things, three things. One, how we grew in the process. Two, how other people grew in the process and became more successful in their business. And then three, to watch how they were able to do joint ventures with each other because they started to understand how they can work together in the mastermind. Yes. Yeah, it was, you know, that was our first online mastermind that we did, yep. you know, but just to circle back with, with anybody listening, like I had the pleasure of being involved in, in mastermind groups that were in person that involved real estate agents and mortgage brokers and financial advisors and all insurance agents and, and all these high level kind of business owners. And, but it was in person and I would facilitate these meetings that included some training that included different things. But the, the main point of these meetings and masterminds was to be about the networking and the, the business referral aspect, right? Like you build relationships and then people can refer you uh, as far as, uh, any kind of business goes. And that's kind of what that world was. And then when we started ours last year, like the whole goal, it, it was not to refer business. The goal is to build business of, of, from things you do. Like, and you mentioned the word joint ventures, right? Like they're, they're definitely the goal is to find a way to, to grow your business from this. Right. Uh, but, but we, we kind of had a few elements in it. One, every week somebody did training, right? It wasn't just us. It was, it was all of us that we were all learning different things because we had experts from different areas of the world, right? Experts oh, yeah. from different business platforms that could teach us. And so we were learning from messenger bots to, uh, you know. Um, Someone selling planes. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, just all kinds of different different things. So, it, you know, it's, it's just, it was such a cool experience to be able to fine tune exactly where the, the balance was from the online world 
to what I had seen in the, the, the old in person, like, uh, you know, I'm going to go to a meeting just to try to get referral business and people to right. you know, get business, right? Like there's that good balance. Right. With some of this whole aspect, we, we discovered having a little bit of training was awesome, but you got to be quick, right? You don't want to spend an hour with people and spend an hour getting, doing training. Like then you take away the networking, right? Right. But that's important right? because if you're not growing, then what's the point as well, right? right. Uh, but then the, the, from the training aspect, you go to, that's where so many masterminds that we see online, it's, I don't know why people call it a mastermind because it's literally just coaching. Yeah. It's just group coaching. Or it's a pitch. Or, or a pitch, right. Like it's just group <laughs> coaching getting ready to pitch into something else. And right, so, right. so why do they call that a mess, right? Like I, I just, I struggle with that. There's no real business implementation on that. That it's like, it, it, and it, that's it, probably it, why well. I had a negative idea of masterminds. Cause that was what you more thought it was yeah. like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so, so anyway, so there's gotta be some element of training. There's gotta be some element of networking and building relationships because a, if you're not building relationships, then what are you doing, right? Yeah. Like people say online business is better because they want to build relationships. Well, unless you're an Amazon store, you're going to have to build relationships, right? Right, right, right. Um, but, then, but then the last part is, and this is when the epiphany I think had is when we did this, started doing hot seats, yeah. right? And that was when 10 experts around a table were able to go through different businesses, right? And so you as a business owner would come on and pitch your thing, go through your webinar, go through your Facebook ad, go through your funnel, go through whatever it was. And then you'd get the instant feedback. And I remember seeing some light bulbs going off of people during that. I don't know about you, Ron, but like the moment that I saw these light bulbs in some folks' faces was the moment I was like, oh yeah, here's, here's the secret sauce. Here's the right mix of these aspects yeah absolutely there was a complete difference of their attitude if you will and their attention and what they were putting out in the world and what was cool is the person on the hot seat was learning and making adjustments to their offer right then that can go live like instantly but what's cool and what we were hearing the feedback was i learned so much from that person being on the hot seat I was able to make changes to my own thing. Yeah. Right? And they weren't even on the hot seat, but they learned so much because they were also in a very similar place in, in that they were able to relate to where that person was getting stuck. And we were able to all kind of walk through that, that it helped them. Yeah. Yeah. And so from, from that, the impactors mastermind was born. So Anybody listening, this is not a hard pitch. Like impactorsmastermind.com, head there if you want it. Take the info if you want. No big deal. But it's like that's where this whole thing was born. Uh, we've been talking impact and then with our mastermind mix and finding that secret sauce of this is not group coaching. This is not just me talking or training somebody. Like this is a, a third of training, networking, and sharing business. And deep dive in on one individual's business each, each and every week. Right. So an hour of time, yeah. um, and, and that gosh, like, what a way to 10 X your investment, right? What a way to 20 X your investment is spend one hour a week. Like, come on. Like if, if you, somebody's not in a mastermind at all, take a minute, stop and think, do you want to improve your situation? And again, don't, you don't have to be an impactor to mastermind, but some mastermind on some level that allows you to learn network and get multiple eyeballs on your uh, offers and different things in real time and get that feedback in real time. Like, come on, those are the three things you need for a great mastermind. Uh, so feel free to check out Impactors Mastermind. And uh, again, any, any thoughts behind mastermind, you want to, you know, give me your best mastermind but the, give us, leave us a review. Let us know, like, what's, who's the best mastermind out there that you've been a part of um, or any ideas on your favorite mastermind, like share. We would love to hear it. It's, gosh, I love masterminds. I'm getting excited. 
I want everybody to be in one. And I want to help people as many people as we possibly can. Small group masterminds, the way to go uh, and, and the way to truly make an impact. Absolutely, guys. Remember, no fluff, no BS, just impact. Go make some. Mastermind.com. We have a special group waiting just for you. Guys, why are you still listening to this? Get off your phone. Go create an impact today.